Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, my beautiful pen friends, and welcome, welcome one and all to another video with your host, Andrew. This week, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a look at some art again. This isn't something which I've done so much of late. Unfortunately, I have not necessarily either been A, in the mood, or B, had um, enough time to really do something. However, this weekend is looking promising. The, the weather's beautiful outside. A lovely frosty morning here in the UK and I thought it might be fun just to sit in the conservatory for 30 to 40 minutes and do some artwork. The video hopefully won't be 30 to 40 minutes, um, I will condense it down a little bit but I'm going to be doing this in two parts this video. I've got one circle which I've done at the top but I'm going to be exploring inks in a more artistic way rather than doing reviews um, like Fig Boot on Pens who is a much better reviewer than I when it comes to probably all aspects but <laughs> anyway um, this, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at Troublemaker ink and we'll be exploring it as I say in an artistic, artistic fashion if I can get my words out um, as opposed to doing it in a more scientific uh, way. If you have something which you uh, want to see, then I would invite you to go and see Fig Boot on Pens or other fountain pen reviewers which do a far more scientific job than I do. However, if you're interested in seeing some artwork and seeing how uh, the ink reacts with a paintbrush and my three uh, favourite pens here, then uh, please stick around and have a look. So, what we're going to be doing, um, as I say, this will be a two-part video. I've got one circle which I've drawn, as you'll see in a moment, um, uh, on the top, and then I'm going to be doing one underneath, and then I will be doing uh, an, another sort of ink exploration in an artistic fashion underneath. Uh, that might come next week or it might come uh, further down the line, uh, just dependent on uh, whether or not I have got ever uh, new pens or other aspects which I want to explore. So, um, what we have got here for you today, as I say, is we have got some sea glass uh, from Troublemaker, which is an elusive ink. Fortunately, Pure Pens in the UK is now stocking them, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So, if you're after some Troublemaker inks, um, you no longer have to go abroad. You can go to your favourite uh, online retailer, that is probably, hopefully, Pure Pens. <laughs> this isn't an advert, uh, by the way, but go and have a look at them and you should be able to uh, pick yourself a bottle uh, within the next 20 days or so. There is another shipment coming in, um, but you have to be quick because uh, things like uh, abalone, milky ocean, they sell out pretty much immediately. So what writing or drawing implements am I gonna be using today? So I've got a detail brush, which is a size two. I've got some water just off to the side. I've got a Nakaya uh, Piccolo in Midori Tamanuri. Uh, I've got the, uh, the Karanui uh, from Tamanui Studios, and that's on a Wet n Wise Comfort Pen. And then we have got a Sailor Pro Gear Slim um, in Vega, I think. Yeah, I think it's Vega. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure it is. My memory's not so great this morning. I've had quite a frantic weekend work uh, with sorting IT problems, and it's been quite manic. So let's do something a little bit more relaxing than using computers and crack on with this video. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I have got a pre-drawn um, picture here. Excuse my inky fingers. I just got a new fountain pen yesterday uh, from Fountain Pen Revolution. Um, well, actually, no, two days ago. And uh, it's been a bit problemsome. And uh, as a consequence, I've got quite inky fingers. So I'm just trying to work out some of the kinks on that pen at the moment. And then hopefully I might be able to do a, a just review on it uh, down the line. But anyway, We've got one drawing here which I've pre-drawn and then I'm going to be doing another one underneath. Uh, I've done it this way purely so that I've got some idea of composition before I start doing the drawing. Uh, going down the line I might try to be a little bit more freeform with um, what I'm doing but however for, for today so that I can try and keep this uh, video down uh, in size and time I will be just um, mapping out what I'm going to be doing. So these aren't any particular flowers. Um, they are inspired by my favourite flowers, which are Sakura petals, but uh, this is going to be in green. So <laughs> everything's going to be in green. So we can actually just see how this um, ink reacts. I will be using a variety of pens and probably predominantly the paintbrush today, but as this is really more focused on the ink than the pens, um, that is my justification. Anyway, um, please do sit back and listen to the relaxing music as I crack on with this.
Okay, well, that about wraps it up for today. Um, but before I go, I would like to give you um, my thoughts and feelings on ink, the pens. And then before that, I would like to ask you, what are your recommendations for some Chroma inks? And um, please give me those suggestions in the comment section below because I'd be really interested to uh, hear your opinions. Uh, this Troublemaker Sea Glass really is absolutely fantastic. Um, there's so much more pink in there than I was actually expecting, but that's a good thing. Certainly, you know, when you're doing flowers, um, having some of those pinks in there really is absolutely fantastic. And um, I certainly managed to use it to uh, sort of my advantage on that. Um, in terms of actually using it on these pens, um, I'll just sort of recap what we had. We had a Nakaya, we had a Sailor, a uh, Wet and Wise with Tamanuri's uh, finished on there. Um, on the Nakaya, we've got a 14 karat gold um, fine nib. On the Sailor, we, whoop, good job I had the cap on that. <laughs> Almost knocked over my Troublemaker ink there. Oops. Um, and then we've got a medium fine nib on a, uh, well, a medium fine 14 karat gold nib on the Sailor. And then we've got an extra fine um, bock nib, which is actually more like a fine. But when you go into reverse, you can get some nice extra, extra fine lines, which is absolutely fantastic. And it's smooth, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, um, really fun experiment today. Please, please do give me those recommendations as I've asked. And yeah, that about wraps it up. So next week, what I'm hoping to do is maybe a new segment because there is obviously a lot of uh, pens coming out. Of course, some of these you may have seen on social media, but I will try and saw some uh, news for you, um, just as a sort of break up from uh, the usual sort of um, affair. Anyway, I hope your new year is going well. I am now going to go off and edit this video and I shall see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and goodbye for now.